Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and welcome to the second in a series of seminars on modeling in Paper Vision 3D and CS4. We're going to today do the human heart, as about 12 uh, videos to this series, and we have a whole bunch of stuff for you. So let me start with the references. You know, if you're going to draw in 3D, it really is very much like drawing in 2D, except now you have a third dimension. And you need basically to have real good reference material, and so we're not going to do this justice. I think when we started uh, doing human organs, we thought, well, maybe the heart's not too difficult, uh, just a little bag kind of, and so that should be easy to model, right? And as we begin to do more research into the heart itself and how it was constructed, we went, wow, this is a fairly complicated organ. Probably wish we'd started off with a kidney or something. But in order to draw it, you need to come up with a lot of basic reference material. Uh, we have a, in the reference here just a simple uh, diagram of the circulatory system. Uh, there's a number of blender images that we've pulled off of uh, Turbo Squid uh, that we use to basically look and consider how the heart is built. Um, a nice video example done by NucleusSync.com. We'll go to that later in this video series. Uh, human medical slides. Basically, they took a cadaver and sliced it into several parts, and we actually get a very nice uh, transverse view through the heart itself. Uh, there's a ton of free software we want you to download. One is Jing for TechSmith. allows you just to take screenshots. So if you see a nice shot on the web, you can just snag it real quickly with Jing and bring it into Blender as a reference image. going to show you how to bring reference images into Blender today. Of course, GIMP. If you can't buy Photoshop, GIMP is free. And it will do this, just pretty much the same job. Uh, I prefer to use Photoshop when I can, but GIMP will do it for you. Also, uh, Blender. Definitely want to get that downloaded. That's the 3D software we're going to be modeling today. Out on once again on Wikipedia, there's just a wonderful uh, tutorial on using Blender. Let me go up here and take a look at that. It's a wiki book, and you just go to Wikipedia to this address right here. It's uh, 3D Noob to Pro, and it'll show you quite a bit on working with Blender. Of course, we've built an XML exporter that you can bring into Blender and export your models for Paper Vision or CS4. And you can go to my blog post on that. And finally. Of course, you want to have paper vision because we're going to be bringing this heart into paper vision today. So that's all those links. Lots of goodies there. Lots of free stuff. So go through those links and uh, grab your modeling software, your imaging processing software, uh, Blender, and paper vision, and grab those uh, resources. Of course, we put all that in a resource file for you today. Let me bring that folder up real quick and show you what's in there. Basically, we have a Blender's examples folder, a body slices folder, a reference images folder. And uh, this document here, the tutorial doc that shows you uh, all the stuff that's in the blog post that we're looking at right now. So once again, open that up and follow along. We're going to start by opening up the uh, Blender's examples folder. And we're going to click on a Blender house. So go ahead and click on your Blender house or house.blend file. Bring that up in Blender. And here's a house we created in Blender. And we're going to be working with this to show you some of the basic commands. Let's go back to the blog and take a look at those keyboard shortcuts. So on the blog post as well, we have all the keyboard shortcuts you're going to need to do this exercise. And uh, uh, basically, we show you all the window shortcut keys and all the Mac shortcut keys. And really, pretty much the difference between the two is for the command key on the Mac, you use the right click on the windows. And here's the modeling blender, basically basic modeling uh, keyboard shortcuts. And we'll look at each one of those individually, or the majority of them. And here's the navigation with the touchpad and navigation with the mouse, and then various navigation for texturing your heart once it's completed. So let's go ahead and to the top of this and let's start dealing with basically we'll look at uh, navigation with the touchpad and mouse at first. Let's bring up Blender. And here's a house that I built in Blender. Real simple house. And we're going to learn to navigate it real quick here. Now you can start with the mouse and the mouse is probably the easiest way to navigate a house. If you just hold down the middle button and just let's click on that and slide then you can see you can get a rotation and you're going to need to basically rotate your heart and veins around quite a bit to get to different places to uh, model it if you roll the middle mouse button then you get a zoom so you can zoom back and forth and the final one if you hold the shift button and the middle mouse down and slide then you get the panning so those are the three most important uh, commands that you're going to use now let's just try uh, navigating with a touchpad and uh, I'm on the go a lot and I'll use my touchpad most so let's take a look at navigation with the touchpad. We can go Control Alt, left mouse button will allow you to zoom. 
Alt left mouse button will allow you to rotate. Shift off left mouse button allows you to pan. Now that sounds like a lot to do, but let's just take a look at it in Blender. So I'm going to go ahead and pan over and take a look at my house real quick here. So we're going to go Shift, Alt to pan, and there's my house. I'm going to Alt, Shift to rotate my house around. There you go. So you can rotate all around. And finally, you want to basically Control Alt, hold down that left middle, hold down that left mouse button to zoom. There you go. And just slide on that mouse pad and you zoom. The touchpad is great and it basically gives me a small range of motion, uh, pretty much a conservation of finger movement. So I actually can model fairly rapidly. If you love the touchpad, you're going to love these commands. If not, use a middle mouse. Okay, let's uh, see. Do a little bit of modeling here. I'm going to go ahead and just drag this translation tool to move this house out of the way, and we're going to create another house on the screen. And the way you do that is you hit the uh, space bar that allows you to bring up a menu, which allows you to add different things. We're going to go ahead and add a plane, and we're going to do some edge modeling. So let me hit the tab button and get off of that. Now, I have two objects on the stage. Let me bring my house out here again. I'll pan a little bit. There you go. house and a uh, basically a plane. Now if I come along here and I right click on that, I can select that house that's pan over, or I can right click and select that cube or a plane. Now watch, I'm going to hit Alt and rotate around and you can see that is indeed a plane. Cool. And I want to start modeling. Now the way you model in Blender to, is you want to select the vertices, so I hit the tab button to select vertices or select the figure and hit the A button to get off of that. Now what I want to be able to do is select vertices, edges, or faces. And there's a little command down here. We're going to open this screen up a little bit and take a look at it. It's a little menu bar down here. Let's slide down. Take a look at that menu bar. And I can see basically vertices, edges, and faces. So if I select vertices, what will happen is, is the vertices will light up. You can see that right click. And if I right click on a vertice, it's selected. So you can actually move it around. So what you can be using a lot is grabbing, moving, and extrusions. So if I hit the E key, I can extrude that vertice out. Look at that. And I come along here and I can hit the E key again and I can extrude it again. And now I have two vertices I want to join. So if I hold the shift key down and right click, I can select both vertices. Right? And I can come along and hit the W key and there's a merge select command. Let's select that merge command and you can do it at the center first or last. I'll just merge them at the center and it merged those two vertices together. And now I have this uh, kind of empty uh, triangle. I want to fill that face. And so the way to do that, I'll come along here and I'm going to select edges right there. Come back here, I'm going to select two edges. So I'm going to uh, basically um, hit the uh, right mouse key, hold the shift key down, and click on another edge. Those two are selected. And to make a face, I just hit the F key and that creates my face. There it is. You have two faces right here. If I now rotate this with the Alt left uh, click, you can see I've made two faces. Cool, pretty cool. Now I can come and actually move this into another dimension. So if I hit A key to actually deselect, I can go back here and hit vertices. I'm not going to show it, but I'll just click on the vertices I showed earlier. Right click to select that. See, I can actually move that into another dimension. Look at that. Actually moved it into another dimension. So you're going to be drawing the heart in three dimensions, you need to learn all these basic commands. We'll be covering them through the series. Let me bring them up though and look at a few more of those which are very interesting. X will allow me to erase uh, an item. So if I just hit the X bar on my screen, let's do that. I can come along here and X. Hey, uh, I can erase vertices, edges, or faces, or all. Let's hit vertices and it erased that vertice, which took away everything that had to do with that particular vertice. Let's try another one. The space bar we've already seen, which allows me to uh, add different meshes. The tab bar, uh, we use that basically to select for an object to edit. A selects all the vertices or deselects the vertices in the entire object. B allows me to mark key around vertices, and double B allows me to circle rollover. Let me show that to you real quick. So if I hit my Alt key and rotate around here, I get my B key. and I can select a vertice. There you go. For editing. Or I can come along here and uh, right click to select. We just did that. Right uh, click shift to toggle selection. That's good. E is for extrusion. We've met that already. Escape will get you out of an operation. Control Z will undo. Control Y will redo. 
Control space bar will give you the combo mechanism, which I'll show you earlier, and G is grab. I'm going to show that to you real quick. So I've hit a G key, for example, that allows me to grab and move around. We'll be using G quite a bit. R is rotate, S is size, and F, you already saw that, will complete a space. Let me show that to you real quick. So if I want to rotate, I can hit the R key and rotate, but I want to basically restrict that to an axis. So I can X key to restrict to the X axis, Y key to restrict to the Y axis, and Z key to restrict to the Z rotation axis. Same thing with sizing. S is the size key. I can shrink or make larger. Or hit the X key to shrink with respect to the X axis. Y key to shrink with respect to the Y axis. And the Z key to shrink with respect to the Z axis. Definitely will be using those quite a bit as you work with the heart.